I asked him to bend to the demands of his people to avoid disaster, that the country is more important than individual men. We must first put an end to this state of emergency, but despite the state of emergency, we've had a popular revolt. We need Mubarak's PDT party to dissolve parliament and the consultative assembly, which are both illegitimate. Then it's necessary to create a government of national unity and organize proper elections. Under the control of the magistrates who recently ordered more than 1,500 cancellations from the last parliamentary elections, Hosni Mubarak must leave now, immediately. It's what his people are calling for. But his people have asked him before to hear the demands from the street and not to leave without hearing these. With the nomination of a new government, he wants to prolong the life of this regime and he wants to militarize it. He has to go, but before that, he must listen to the people and their demands. America currently supports the regime and abandons the Egyptian people. They have proved that many times in the past. They support the regime to the detriment of the people. They've damaged their own interests. If they were really looking after their interests, they would respect the choice of the Egyptian people instead of supporting dictatorial and corrupt regimes that are bound to disappear. Not only in Egypt, but in Tunisia and all the Arab dictatorships as well. The era of dictatorship is over. This is the age of people power. Anyone who wants to wake up will see the reality seen by these people. Whoever prefers to continue sleeping will be overtaken by them. They look like they might win by God's will because God is the great victor, but most people turn away from him. We love our military and we take care of it. Every regime has a military that defends it, but an army has to defend democracy, not corrupt it. The army stays on its guard. Throughout its history, the army has defended Egypt and the Arab world. This army is the guardian of the Egyptian people and the Arab world. We have even protected the premises of the ruling party, but security forces didn't intervene to extinguish the fires. The Egyptian people are civilized and refined. Whoever wants to know that just has to go to the demonstrations. They'll see how young people have protected our institutions and even the premises of the ruling party, because these buildings belong to us. We're asking responsible people to manage them, because they have been abandoned. The Muslim Brotherhood are part of Egyptian society, nothing more nothing less. We have martyrs, those who have been injured and arrested in our ranks. The largest percentage of arrests have been at home. Over 500 brothers have been arrested since the start of this uprising. Sisters also participate. Youths, Older teachers, everyone has joined in this uprising. We're asking for all those who love their country to protect it against these violent and premeditated attacks.